Hi, I'm Rudy Cabello with Subsite Electronics. We're at the Subsite training field. Today we want to show you how to locate a fault using our Utiliguard and fault probe. First you want to connect your ground lead to your ground stake. And before we connect our signal lead to our utility, we want to ensure that utility is de-energized and disconnected on, on both ends. So we know that we've already done that, we've ensured that. We'll go ahead and open the box up connect to our utility and then now we want to turn on our transmitter and since we're locating a fault we want to make sure that we enable our fault mode so we'll press and hold on this button we'll go down to options select options go down to fault mode and we want to enable it once that's enabled the transmitter is going to give us a reading that's going to give us a, a reading of ohms on the utility so as as you're, as you're reading the ohms on your utility uh, a reading of 100k or greater um, is going to be really it's basically no fault if there's a, a reading of 50k or less there's going to be a fault presence uh, on, in this scenario we have 306 ohms um, so we're going to be able to locate a fault. Also, we want to turn up the power level because as we increase the power level on our transmitter, it will make it easier for us to locate a fault. Now with the A-frame plugged into the receiver, we'll go ahead and turn on the receiver. And we'll locate the line. Once we located the line, we'll place the probe in the ground and we need to press and hold on the frequency button to initialize locating the fault. There we go. Once we do that, an arrow will appear on this play and that arrow will tell us the direction of the fault. So we'll walk as we're locating the line. We'll periodically place the probe in the ground and then it'll still give us the direction of the fault. So we'll keep locating along. And it still tells me I need to keep going. And now the arrow has changed. It's telling me to move backwards in the opposite direction. So we'll locate along. Place the probe in the ground. It still tells me I need to walk backwards or in this direction. Now it's telling me to go forward so we make smaller and smaller increments. And now it's telling me to go backwards. So we'll make these small and smaller and smaller adjustments to locate the fault. And then once we located the fault, in between the two probes is where our fault is located. Thank you for watching.